70 plus years, pacemakers have become common practice to help people regulate their hearts. But what was once a bulky box is now basically the size of a large vitamin. It's brand new technology. And here to explain it and show it off is Dr. Larry Chinitz, who was the first U.S. physician to implant this revolutionary technology. And joining him is his patient, Janet Marcel. Good morning to you both. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Doctor, let's go ahead and get into this. Can you tell us about what exactly happens when you hear your heart, when your heart slows down? So if the patient has an abnormally slow heartbeat, it's not meeting the demands of the body, not circulating enough blood. So the very common symptoms are fatigue, exercise intolerance, lightheadedness. But when it gets really profound, patients can actually pass out uh, and pass out repeatedly. And unfortunately, we have no other type of treatment. There are no medications that can effectively treat these very slow heartbeats. So we really rely upon pacemakers. And they've been around for a long time, and they've really been quite effective. Uh, but the new leadless pacemaker is a major advance in this technology. And this is one of the treatments that's available now to help deal with what could be a life-threatening situation. Uh, that's correct. So very recently, the FDA approved the micro pacemaker. So it is the only approved leadless pacemaker in the country. Uh, it's also the smallest pacemaker in the world, uh, and it really does help many, many patients. And we're looking at an image of it now, and it really is the size of a vitamin. And Janet, I really want to get into you now. Tell us about your condition. I believe it's called bradycardia, if I have that right. How long have you been suffering, and what exactly were the symptoms like? Um, pretty much my whole life since I was a child all the way up until I received the pacemaker. Um, I was the one who was fainting all the time. I didn't experience too many dizzy spells or fatigue, just straight up fainting without too much warning. And that was pretty scary and sort of debilitating for regular life. And that sort of disappeared. It all disappeared when I got the pacemaker. And with it, how you said it disappeared. Uh, how has your life changed? Are you able to do things you weren't used to? Yes, um, it's changed a lot. The struggle to just sort of get through the day without passing out or leaving the room or, you know, I've crashed my car multiple times. Um, that sort of thing is just, it was gone. It's gone. And doctor, can you really discuss, uh, you mentioned it's FDA approved, but can you discuss your involvement with the clinical trial which led to that approval? Yes, Mika. So I was the principal investigator uh, at the NYU Medical Center, but we were part of a global trial uh, that involved over 50 centers around the world, uh, getting patients like Janet, following very closely for the safety and the efficacy of the leadless pacemaker. Uh, and we were really pleased that the results were so positive. Uh, the safety profile was excellent, uh, and that led to pretty rapid approval by the FDA. It certainly did take a couple of years, but it was well worth the time. And we've heard how it's helped Janet. What has your experience been like using this technology? Uh, it seems beneficial. Well, as a physician, it's really very satisfying to be able to treat patients and really alleviate their symptoms in a safe and minimally invasive manner. Uh, so we're really excited about it. We're looking forward to expand the technology to a larger patient population. Uh, but once again, uh, it's a really satisfying, very safe intervention, uh, especially for people like Janet. And for you guys, for someone watching at home who may be searching for a diagnosis for their condition or any condition uh, that they may be facing, what is it something that you guys would like to share with them on how to get help? Well, I think Janet's story is really very uh, compelling. It took her a long time for physicians to really understand uh, what was going on with her to do the appropriate tests to make a diagnosis and then you need to be at a physician who understands the types of interventions that are available uh, especially the new technology so i think our major message is that you really need to talk to the doctors not let anybody ignore your symptoms uh, and if you want additional information uh, there are really good websites such as the one at the nyu langone medical center uh, and that website is www.nyulangone.org. Uh, a really good place for both physicians and patients. Well, guys, thanks for taking out some time this morning for us and talking to us about this revolutionary technology. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And like we mentioned, it's the world's smallest pacemaker, and it's FDA approved. If you'd like to learn more about it, you heard the website. It's right there on your screen. Right now, JJ, over to you.